Hello, my name is Mordred Viking, and I'd like to welcome you to this stream of Crusader Kings 2, where we are playing Holy Fury, and I have come this time properly equipped. This is actually, yes, yeah, a drinking horn. Um, so, we are playing some more of this. And it's going to be awesome. So, what is happening at the moment? We are currently the Duke of Holland, where we control... Um, Osnabrück, Kellera, Strict, Holland, and Zeeland. Wait, how? Oh, we got West Friesland, which is currently owned by Osnabrück. I did not actually realize that we got um, West Friesland. That's actually hilarious. All right, and we are in the process of trying to actually get down to Paderborn. But first of all, we need to murderize this guy because he really, 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 really upset the rather, rather fragile Mordred II of Holland who is a conniving sod who likes murdering people. That's just what he does for fun. So we're going to... So still can't do that. Another month. Another year, even. All right. Well, we're going to become intriguing uh, when we can. Requin. Whoa, crikey. Thank you very, very much for that. For that. Uh, happy birthday. What's in the horn? Um, not mead, though I do actually have some mead downstairs. This is just beer. <laughs> and I have to say... Horns are not the best thing for putting beer into because it just goes crazy foamy. So like, even though the horn's that big, probably about this much is foam right now. Which is a bit weird because usually you have to like hold a glass tilted and then pour beer in and it doesn't foam up. Doesn't work with this. Doesn't work. So for the past 15 minutes or so, I've been slowly trying to just fill it with actual liquid rather than foam. So it's, it's, it's better. Still not amazing. This is Hobgoblin. Nothing particularly special, but I do like my ales. Opinion on whiskey. It's excellent. Well, it depends on the whiskey. Um, I don't really like the smoky stuff, but the other whiskey, really good. Really good. Anyway, so what is happening at the moment? We are still raiding stuff over here. Yes, we are. We're currently leaving the ships to go and make some money. We're building up some cash. Drinking corners way. It has a massive stand. A straw helps. Not with beer, it doesn't. It just goes even more foamy. The face when Mordred isn't making 2,000 ducats in the for. <laughs> Check the steward if he's on tax collection. The steward is not actually, he's on minstrel. Um, well, yes, he should be on tax collection. Or construction. Oh, that's only build time. I thought that might make it cheaper, but it doesn't. Uh, but we are trying to save up money so that we can build up the uh, various provinces that we have got. Nijmegen and Azelstein are pretty good, but Vlanderen and Middelburg not so much. So let's continue the raiding, which of course we are not present now. We get other people to fight our fights for us. Perhaps it could help me to increase Mayor Todo's opinion of me if I sent him a gift. I'm not going to spend money on this. Looting, 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 and where are we going to go next? I think north. That's probably still faster to walk. Uh, let's go here. Anglesey, are you worth anything? No. Isle of Man? 1.5 ducats. I don't think it's particularly worthwhile going up to the Isle of Man. Lancaster. Completely fortified. Completely impenetrable. Never going to get through. No point going to Lancaster. Because it's just going to defeat you every time. <laughs> beer right back, beer arriving. Ah, oh, that would be nice. My internet is so bad for the stream, it actually looks like a badly cut video. Um, I'm, do we not have transcoding then? That's kind of unfortunate. Just realised I have not set my windows up properly. Let's fix that real quick. Yep, done. Willebrand thoroughly hates me by now and likely wishes me dead. The feeling is, of course, mutual. We shall be enemies to the end. And all because you refuse to go drinking with me. See what you've done. See what you've done. 800. Zero. Oh, you've only just got axed or got control of West Friesland. I see. Yeah. 
need to get more plot power. Oh, but there are a couple of people that we could stop bribing to do that now. Um, and we absolutely should. Before there were lots of people who would say no. These two are both yeses. And they're both in. Marvellous. 99%. Boom. That will be nice. Right, we're not going to go to Chester. We're not going to... No, no, we are going to Chester. Chester's got money. Lancaster's far too heavily fortified with the best of Britain, so no chance. No transcoding, my only tips to watch on mobile and listen to the audio. Oh, man. It definitely hurts the streams when I don't have transcoding. It's very unfortunate that that's a partner-only thing. I can switch focus. Yeah! Plus three intrigue, plus five plot power. Excellent. And that didn't seem to have gone up. Maybe end of the month. Recently, I've noticed the pitiful state of my daughter, Morgana. I have been informed that the cause of her aches and pains is the flu. Call for the physician. The absolutely insane guy is going to be able to fix it, I'm sure. Alright, so we've got the castle town in Middleburg done. There we go, 110. Much better. Tribal holding has finished construction in West Friesland. Okay, so I have a tribe here. Osnabrück is a tribe. I mean, not cool. It'd be better if they were feudal and civilized, but never mind. Make do with what we have. Right, next is going to be Ireland, which is surprisingly wealthy. Uh, actually, Scotland's gone up in wealth too. So they must be starting to get some of their buildings done. Like, um, where was it? Uh, Gowry. Well, we don't have anything that increases income. Oh, Market Village, there we are. Not built. So I don't know how they're increasing their money. Or the wealth, or the value. Let's head home. And then let's go and invade, or um, raid, like, France. Or Brittany. Brittany, which is surprisingly well fortified. Oh, we can... Mm. No, I don't think I want to annoy the bear very much because you've seen how strong he is that would probably be a bad time. Vizcaya however loads of money and generally going down the Portuguese coastline tends to be very 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 good I'm pleased to hear that after a period of peace and shrewd management the county of Sticht is doing very well people are happy and tax collectors are recording in uh, much money marvellous so what else do I need to do to get the plot power up there's not very many others who can join in against this. Oh, she's actually taken land now. No, she's... Oh, she's married to the Chief of Holstein. So am I going to lose Osnabrück and West Friesland when I murder him? Or are they going to become mine? I doubt it. She's a genius. Mein Goff has published the results of his medical investigations. The book has not received any notable attention, but at least Mein Goff has developed his skills as a physician. Gain plus one learning. Level 16. Not bad, not bad. Internet's wonky, so I won't be able to watch the stream, but I want to say happy birthday to Mordred one more time before I leave. Well, thank you, Fishy. I appreciate that. And I'm sorry that Transcribing's not working. That's really quite unfortunate. Uh, you've actually got retinues here. Kind of looks like someone's been going after Portugal already. There is not a lot of money here. Hmm. Cathar Heresy has reared its ugly head 
in the county of Sticht. This will stir up the peasants. How is that spreading faster than my actually spreading religion? Revolt risk 30%. Heretic stronghold, religious unrest, different religion group. Good grief. Well, I think what I need to do in that case... Also, my steward. Oh, yeah. It's him. I need to suppress revolts and strict in that case. And maybe send the army home so that we have a standing army when the problems begin. There's no money here. Maybe I should write a letter to Mayor Todo to convince him of my good intentions. Sure. And then the next thing I'm going to do is take a look at the government's and end up just sailing down the Rhine and burning those churches again. Tony has not responded. Oh, merry aging day, Mordred. Thanks, Kalantir. Castle Town in Flanderen is done. And you seem to have actually raised your forces, though these two have merged together. Book, mines, they are different. That's a large force. My liege, I've tried to make the mayor of Meingolf Zutphen realize what a benevolent and peaceful ruler you really are, but since the forces at court have been hard at work to discredit my every move. Okay, so it's only mines that I'm at war with, so that's 900 men. I mean, that's still quite a few troops. But we're just here to burn the temple, so it's all good. Some of the psychophants would claim that Wilbrand is a very patient man, but how would his quiet and condescending demeanor hide anything but cowardice? The coward is accusing someone else of cowardice? That's rich. Well, at least sieging down these provinces is going to be very easy. Small garrisons. Thank you, Onshore. Well, it's been a long time indeed since I watched CK2. I forgot what it was like anymore. Just makes it as fun as E4. I play Crusader Kings very differently from other players. Like, they tend to do all the really crazy stuff, like marrying their horses and things. But it's not what makes this interesting to me. I like the random events. I like that crazy things can happen, but I don't like just going after them myself. I guess I'm just a little more serious. I don't know. Toto is dead. Good. Don't you outcoward me! I had to rearrange my desk to get the uh, bloody holder in. Because I've got two drinking horns. One of them is like on a tripod, and unfortunately the drinking horn makes the third branch of that tripod, so if you take the drinking horn out, the rest of the stand just collapses. It's useless. Then I have this one, which is just huge. Can you see the stand? Yeah, I think so. It's just massive, and it takes up a huge portion of my desk. Not to mention it's noisy when I go clutter, clutter, clutter when I try and pick it up. And also it's a weird angle. How are the defences in the places going? I haven't really bothered with defences because I haven't been getting attacked very much. Now, this is still the early Viking Age, so because I'm Germanic, I'm immune to that. Once the Christians actually start organizing a bit better, then yes, defenses will become more of a thing. We're up to 83 moral authority. 20% from infidel temples looted. 16 from successful county conquests. Infidel rebel victories have had problems, but I think that's the um, uh, Catholic revolt rebels. It's not actually Catholics. In fact, if Sticht is going to be the place that rises up, I think I want to have your troops already raised. And I need to get some more commanders. Uh, mind off. Sure. Just need to make sure that these guys get bribed so they actually turn up when I tell them to fight. He's already been bribed. Right, 
Let's make sure that Mordred is not taking the field, because that would be a bad idea for everyone involved. And of course, the one section of the army which is not commanded is also the biggest. Let's put that there. That'll do for now. I can raise the rest if and when I need them. And now we do have some more money, so I feel vindicated in upgrading this. I've already got castle walls, castle towns ready level two. Sticht. I oh, know it's Zeland. Zeland's where I need to look. Castle town level two. Here we are. And commercial training grounds already done. When can we get host cars? Quite a long time, still. All right. Am I going to stay Germanic? Yes. Sticht, old world speak for Utrecht. Yeah. I was thinking it was Maastricht, but Maastricht is further south. That's... Down... Actually, this is a really weirdly shaped map. Let's see. Netherlands... Osnabrück is not part of the Netherlands. Neither is Berch, I think. And that's Cologne. Cologne's like next door. Julich maybe is Limburg? I'm not sure. This, These provinces are really weirdly shaped, so you can't really tell where the modern borders are. So when am I going after the other provinces in the Duchy of Kelra? At the moment, my main concern is still getting Paderborn, but my other main concern is seeing that this guy dies, because my realm is really unstable while he still lives. And if that does mean giving that territory up to Holstein, then I'm going to be very upset. The peasants of Sticht are quite apart and spread out. Your spy master suggests investing in provincial messenger systems so that they can communicate with their kin more easily. Uh, yeah. Supply line prosperity goes up. And prosperity also means less revolt risk. It does. What level is Sticht? Sticht is level 1. But still has really bad revolt risk, I believe. 14%, even with the 17% reduction granted by my commander. Double over in pain as you suddenly feel painful cramps. Uh oh. He's sure that I'm developing slow fever. Okay. Do I have an air yet? Balance the humans. Mine elf has made me sprint around to keep inducing sweating. Plus two. Excellent symptom. Treatment. Okay, then. Haven't had any severe tramps for a while. Whatever caused them seems to have been dealt with. Well done, physician. Well done. So, seriously, when is this guy going to die? I have... Uh, power, power's gone down a bit. You would be a no. Three, six against. Four against. Lots against. Lots against. Two, four, one, uh, three against. So one against total. So Mindnolf is possible. And he would cost me 22%. Oh, it's because um, that other priest guy died. Yeah, that's probably what did it. Okay, so we're going to go to you. We're going to start swaying you. We've already tried to bribe you. He's envious, which is not helping. And the short reign is also still not helping, and neither is the female heir. How's the wife doing? Still alive. Mega Viking campaign coming. For this, doubtful. Here we go, peasant revolt against me. Peasants have risen up in Osnabrück. Where they have to fight his army first. Ha <laughs> ha! So let's raise my forces. Because we could re-raise Sticht, I decided to do that. Uh, they are going to sit there and try and siege it for a bit. That's fine. And I actually outnumber them, so that is all good. And that was a different revolt. You just have peasant unrest. Bloody peasants. Right. Generals. So we've got Meganolf in charge. We've got other Meganolf 
otherwise in charge. And I think we need to import some generals again. So let's make this my religion only. Yes to joining the court. Soldiers. All. So, Starkard, Starkadur would join. Shrewd, diligent. Oh, wow, he's good. Yeah, I like you. Invite to the court. Hates their liege. Yes. Alright, so we have that new guy. Council, minor titles. Let's give him a command and also bribe him so he actually shows up. Welcome to the team. And we'll put you in charge of the main force, actually. And... You're in charge of that one. Roughly equal numbers everywhere. I think I'd kind of prefer the centre to have some more troops. Because the centre has the best commander. No, you can actually assign commanders to subunits. That seems like a whole lot of micromanagement. So do I want to let them try and take Osnabrück, or shall I march and try and get around and attack them? I think I was we were going to do. And these are peasants. They're going to be majority light infantry and archers versus my majority heavy infantry. Definitely heavy infantry. Alright, so it's my 700 heavy infantry and my 500 light infantry. I do have quite a lot of light infantry because of my construction of militia training centers. Their general is a level 5 and their flanks don't have a commander. So yeah, their morale is just going to disappear. And we smashed all of them. Even more peasants have risen up in Osnabrück, reinforcing the ongoing revolt. Are you serious? That's terrible timing. We beat them too, though. So, terrible timing for them! Ha ha! I've decided that it would be profitable to take some time and resources to seriously hurt my sworn enemy. Willebrand is an unbearable pestilence upon this world, and I will not rest until I have made his life a living hell. So, I can spread false reports to his spies, which will reduce his plot defence. It will also cause me to lose prestige. I can make everyone hate him. There will never know peace. 25% chance of being stressed. 25% chance of me becoming cruel. Uh, we're going to fend, spread false reports to his spies. I don't think I've ever played with a high intrigue person. Cologne has formed. Oh, yeah, they have. It's just that bit. This bit's different still. Thankfully. Alright, they're running. Uh, that was a glorious victory. They lost 900, I lost 167. And... The revolt defeated? Yeah, 100 war squads just not showing there for some reason. Enforced demands? Yes, we are totally beaten. So I gain 20 prestige, they lose 100 gold. And... Liaoizo is imprisoned. Marvellous. So revolt risk here is now zero, but Sticht still has a big problem. So I think I'm going to march this army and leave you in Helra for the moment. Because I'm very much expecting these guys to rise up at some point. Eighty-five percent moral authority. Germanic is definitely growing in strength. I believe Paderborn formed Hess. Yes, they did. Those two are both Catholic, but you are still Germanic. We really need to find a way of taking Paderborn. We really do. Let's get that refilled. Another thing about drinking horns, they don't actually hold that much. Like out of a... Half a litre bottle, I can refill this three or four times. Mm. That was just pure foam. Pure foam. 
And I can now imprison this guy righteously. Since we have evidence that Willebrand is the leader of a plot, nobody will um, say no. Interesting. Father, father, calls Morgana, pulling my arm, pleading to play with her and her latest toy, completely oblivious to all the important work I'm in the middle of. Sometimes this kid can be really insufferable. Not now, child. Um, I could potentially become cruel. Or she gains stats. I have a chance of becoming kind. And I'm neglecting some of my responsibilities. We're going to do that. Treating peace people feels good. I have gained the kind trait. Does that reduce my murderous intention? Yeah, minus two intrigue. Fantastic. Another minus five personal combat. Awesome. The vassals like it, though. So my combat is truly abysmal. Well, now that I can imprison this dude, we're going to imprison this dude. He rises up. We kill his army. That's why I stationed an army here. So that's his retinue dead. Mostly. Hope you're drinking mead. This is beer, but I do have mead downstairs. I'll have some of that later. It's just a bit strong to be drinking out of the horn and also stay relatively coherent for four hours. Thank you, Borak Obama. <laughs> what are you drinking, bro? I is drinking beer in it. I. I lost my steward. I'll, I'll deal with that when I've drunk my beer. Alright, steward. Steward, steward, steward. Uh, steward, courtier in Holland would do. He actually likes me. Crikey. Well, he knows what happens if he doesn't. Alright, Osnabrück, level 1 is done. What is, to you, the most stable starting date? I mean, by that time, things often go the same most of the time. Um, kind of the point of Crusader Kings and Hearts of Iron and EU4 is that things don't stay stable? 